Hi, I'm John with Roundabout Woodworks. In today's video, I'm going to turn a ring. Um, I'm not turning a ring to show you necessarily how to turn a ring. I'm turning a ring because I want to tell you a story about a ring, and it wouldn't make sense if I didn't turn a ring for the video. Um, to do a, a wooden ring, you do not need a chuck. But I have chucks, so I'm going to use one. You can do it with a drill press and a tapered mandrel. Uh, I think Captain Eddie Castellan uses a, wood, a tapered split mandrel to turn rings. That's a great method. Uh, Carl Jacobson, I think he uses a pin chuck. Another great method if you have a pin chuck. Um, I'm going to use a jam fit chuck in a scroll chuck because that's how I do it. And stay tuned to the end for my story about the ring. Alright, I've already chucked a square piece of elm in the lay. I'm going to drill it out with a 5 8 11 16 I'm not sure what size drill, but it's slightly smaller than my finger. This is how I make a ring. Uh, I'm using elm because elm is uh, not doesn't split as easily. It's got an interlocking grain. Uh, that's one of the things Elm is known for. It's not to say it won't split. The other end of this little blank is actually checked pretty badly. But it's a little tougher than normal wood. Normal wood split very easily. Uh, this is not going to split so easily. I'm going to drill through the blank. Not very deep. Just deep enough to get a ring basically. Then I'm going to turn the inside diameter to the proper diameter because I don't have a drill bit that's the right size for my finger, uh, which happens to be a 12, which I'm not sure what the conversion is. I'm going to use calipers. I have a ring sizing kit that lets me measure the, the actual size of the ring and, and or the actual size of your finger. So I'm going to drill it out, turn it. This is basically... fit better on part of your finger than the other. It's 
not parallel. So just touch up the inside. Just slightly high in the middle of the turned area, right about here at the in entrance, and at the end where there's a shoulder, it's slightly wider. That, that's okay. split. Okay, so after I split the ring, I pause the video to turn the wood back blank back around in the chuck and redrill. I forgot to turn the camera back on and uh, I went ahead and turned and finished the ring. Now, when I was editing the video, I realized, hey, I don't have the footage of actually doing the ring. So I'm back. I'm going to just act like I haven't turned the ring. And then I'm going to do it again. So that's what I'm doing. I'm drilling out the hole with a three quarter inch Forstner bit because that's the closest to my ring size. Um, and I'm going to do the ring. I've learned the hard way not to let go of the drill truck. And I've seen recently how there's an awful lot of us in the brotherhood of the loose chuck spinning on the leg. I have a very long quarter inch drill bit uh, that's bent in the middle. So don't be one of us. Kind of scary. Basically, repeating all the steps that I didn't film last time. using a half inch skew as a scraper.
of course the diameter doesn't fit, so move this out. I'm gonna get a little further away from the chop jaws. Okay, the ring is at the proper thickness. Now I'm adding beads. Two small beads on each side with a wide bead in the middle. It's decent off the tool. I'm going to do a 220. Tell you my story. Years ago, I turned a ring out of persimmon, uh, dark heartwood, light sapwood, swirls in and out, beautiful, very hard, polished up like almost like glass. Uh, they used to make golf clubs out of persimmon because it's so hard and, and tough, really tough wood. And I thought this ought to be a fairly durable ring. Well, I knew a gentleman, very slight build, in his 80s, with a grip of iron. He shook your hand. There's no getting away. Well, one morning, I'm wearing my ring, showing it off, and he comes up and he shakes my hand. And the ring split with this tremendous crack. It was unreal. The expression on his face went from, I'm so glad to see you, to, I can't believe I just broke your hand. And I didn't let on, it did not, you know, it didn't hurt, it just sounded horrible. Uh, and I thought maybe next time he shakes my hand, he won't try so hard. Turn the rings. I wasn't going to turn a ring video because uh, there's so many people that turn rings and they all do them well. Um, but I, I really wanted to tell you my story because nobody else mentioned the durability of a wooden ring. They are not durable. 
Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope the video is worth your time. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed my story. Uh, I tell it much better in person. Uh, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, but I appreciate your time. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.